Hi guys! I wanted you to see first this fabulous painting that Mr. Scotty made for us. So every time I make a video, we'll get to go to art class. Yay! Um, okay, so I didn't do a video yet this week. Also, I'm wearing your follow your art shirt, just so you guys know. I miss you, Annabelle. I'm wearing the earrings you made me. Um, anyway, okay, I'm gonna try and be short. I wanted to answer your, okay, hold on, share screen. I wanted to answer, some of you guys are asking me the same exact question. Um, where to go to find your, is this working? Sorry. Um, okay, go to teams, go into your team. I'm just gonna be first period right now. Under general assignments. This week's project can be due on Sunday night at midnight. Under your assignments, you will see this week's new fabulous uh, assignment. We are doing glamour shot self portraits. Some of you guys have already viewed it. Um, there's nothing to turn in on here. For your student view, what you guys need to do, so you're going to be photographing a self portrait glamour shot style. Watch the YouTube video posted in today's channel. Read through the PowerPoint. I'm gonna go over that with you guys right now. Um, follow the instructions to take your own glamour shot, upload your final photo to the Smartest Artist channel, or you can email it to me, or you can send it to the um, classroom Instagram. A lot of you guys have been using that because it's probably the most convenient since we're doing photography on our phones. So I'm gonna op open up the PowerPoint and go through it quickly with you guys. I don't wanna keep tons of your time, but I felt like this needed a little explanation. <laughs> because since we're at home, why not make it fun and funky and weird and let's get creative. And um, I cannot wait to see your submissions. So this week, glamour shots, oh lordy. If you've never seen one, this is a real nice gem here from circa 1980, who knows? Family style, ooh, self-portrait style. So basically, you are going to take a self-portrait to the next level. In the 1960s, adults wanted to ignore real life because a ton of heavy stuff was happening in the world, like war, etc. People started to experiment with many new things in many different ways, and photography was one of them. Introduced to the world, glamour shots. Even though that was in 1960, glamour shots didn't really take off until the 80s, though. And the 1980s were already, without needing help, a very weird time on their own. Side note, I was born in the 80s. Coincidence? You decide. Um, so how weird are these glamour shots really? Are they that different from your previous self-portrait projects? Again, I'm gonna let you decide. So here we have this handsome young man holding a cat. There's a lot of cats in glamour shots. Not sure about why, but I mean, you know how I feel about cats. Um, the neon lights and stripes was a big thing. If you want to do some editing, when, no matter what kind of uh, photo editing app you have, you are more than welcome to. That would be fabulous. Um, you can do a bust. You remember a bust is from like the shoulders up when we did our figure sculptures at the beginning of the year with the tape. If you want to do a half body like this and add some sort of um, digital edits to it, you can. Full body, cha -cha. you can do full body. Um, for this effect here, what I would do is have a sheet kind of the way that we did the poster board in the video when I was at my parents' house on that chair so that it looks like it goes all the way down and underneath your feet. You could do that with a sheet or a tapestry or something. Um, <laughs> you love me for this, don't you? Uh, get funky with your outfits, hairstyles, backdrops. Um, but we need, I mean, this is something we can't ignore. Glamour shots happened. This, this is real life, guys. This isn't like some sci-fi movie. This really happened. And it was a really big deal. You might still be asking yourselves why. And honestly, you guys, so is the rest of the world. But glamour shots were real. And so now it's your turn. I know you're going to crush this assignment. 
So what's the meaning behind a portrait anyway? Are they only about one's legacy? How do humans want to be seen and remembered? Let's take a look at some from history. King Henry. And we've been through this before, okay? Whenever we did our um, self-portrait projects in classroom, notice what he's wearing. What does that say about his demographic, his wealth, his status? Who is he? How does he want to be seen? He's not just wearing a t-shirt sitting in his art studio. He's got a flush background, fancy clothes, silly hat, probably at that time that said something like, I am of importance and I'm wealthy. Frida Kahlo. Um, think about the facial expression you're going to be making. What kind of mood does that portray? Do you want to have symbols? Do you want to have props? Do you want to use an object? She, as we know, Frida used a lot of symbolism in her paintings. You could do the same thing and transfer that into your self-portrait glamour shot photograph. Um, and what about these three? <clears throat> Picasso did this drawing at 18, this painting at 25, and this painting at age 90. What does he want you to think about him? Or maybe even what was he thinking about himself when looking at or creating each of these self-portraits? Malala, notice how, this is simple, right? It's simple, but it says something about culture, how she wants to be represented, integrity. She's looking at you, making eye contact, which, um, Direct eye contact uh, commands, demands your attention from the viewer. We've seen um, paintings by Kehinde Wiley. Uh, what kind of expression on his face? And what about the motion of his hands, the gesture, the fashion? Notice his clothes, the time period. Um, things to think about in your portrait. And we've talked about Beyonce's bust, the scale of it. Um, grandeur, her legacy. So there's different things to think about throughout history, but also contemporary when we are creating any kind of self-portrait, portrait of someone else. I'm also going to give you guys the option to do this of your pet, if you would rather do a pet portrait instead of a self-portrait for Glamour Shop. Now back to you. So these are not necessarily about reality, but they can definitely speak to characteristics about your unique personality. This portrait project is not meant to be serious. It should be fun, but it can also be both. Think about this. How would you like your viewers to see you? And once you figure out how you would like to be seen, why? What objects or props might help to identify you as an individual in your glamour shop? And then think also about clothing. And we're going to go over some more glamour shot examples so you can get an idea of how over the top, ridiculous, cheesy, dramatic, and hilarious um, their clothing choices are, hair choices. I mean, like, there's, the sky is the limit when we're talking about glamour shot photography. You guys can get super weird with this. Um, the environment, your background. Do you want to include words? Do you have photo editing software? You may use that if you choose. For example, this lovely lady here, um, she chose to even include a title. She like named herself, again, with the cats. Uh, but look at her outfit. Look at the fade in the background, um, her hair, her glass. I mean, it's just, you can get as weird as you want. Um, the chicken guy, I really, I, I have no words. <laughs> um, please get weird with this. Just keep it appropriate. Please, please keep it appropriate. You guys know what appropriate is. We have our rules, keep it that way. Um, but also have fun. So here are a few more examples, just so you get a better idea. You could be laying down. Um, again, the props, you can see here, he has a bowling ball with some like shine on it and a skull inside, pretty cool. Um, kind of laying a little dreamy with a sheet in the background. Um, Again, no words. <laughs> uh, you, could, you could bring a friend or sibling or parent into your picture if you'd like, again, with the cats. Um, you could drop in some sort of outer space background, totally your call, and look at her pants. Like, are those pleather? I just, I, I love everything about this. Um, hair, costumes, clothing, props hair. <laughs> the cat thing. So you could be looking directly at the camera. You could also be looking off to the side. So I only included this one because it is a bust, but so chest up. I'm going to say that's acceptable. Uh, photo editing, cash dollar bills, yo. 
And just for your own enjoyment, you're welcome. This is Ms. Holloway in high school, Glamour Shot, the real deal. So, your steps. Do a little internet research, look at more Glamour Shot images. Watch this PowerPoint, watch this video, watch the video that I uploaded into the general channel today, uh, YouTube link on how to glam up your Glamour Shots. Um, decide on an outfit, a pose, do you want to use props? You don't have to, but sometimes they enhance, sometimes they hinder your image, so you make the call. Practice making faces in the mirror, do it. Look serious, look off to the side, um, just do it, it'll help. Set up your studio with an intentional background. Do you want a sheet, or are you going to like green screen it and then add some sort of outer space? Maybe a bowling alley, maybe you're like on Mount Everest, maybe you're uh, in a spice market in Thailand in your background. Um, put your phone on a timer and start shooting and have fun, have fun, have fun. You have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, an entire week, five days to do this. You don't have to upload three like last week, just pick your favorite one. If you want to give me more, I would love you for it. You do not have to. Um, you can submit it the same exact way as the last two projects. You can email it to me directly, hollowaya at duvalschools.org. You can upload it to the classroom Instagram account um, just by direct message. Or if you would like to share it, but I will also make another online video art gallery. So we'll have another JWJ week two, two virtual tour of your submissions. I'll finish it by next Monday. Um, but you could upload your final picture to the Smartest Artist channel in your team directly so that everybody else gets to see it. If you have any questions about this, email me, um, message me, Instagram. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to go, oh wow, that's a lot of my face. Um, I hope that helps. If anybody else has questions about grades, about um, Frank and Simone's happiness, um about life in general about anything at all i really miss you guys i hope that online school is getting better for you it's slowly getting easier for me so thank you for being patient and um understanding the transition that we are all going through with that i'm gonna sign out with our new painting art class 2.0 see you guys soon <laughs>